Hamilton. The lights are still on and Fritzen has jumped the start. Hackenden has jumped the start. Now they were on for a fantastically long time. There is a mandatory period when those lights must go out. And they, I, in my, my view, they did not do so. I've never seen this before. Come on, go this time. Yes, nice one, Fritzen. David Coulthard has got hit. Mika Hakkinen coming up alongside him. David Coulthard is blocked by Fredson. Hakkinen moves up into second position. So he's already taken his teammate, David Coulthard, whose job now will be not only to... Oh, somebody's the... over. Bang! That's a Benetton in the background. Sauber, I think, Mary. And Sauber Benetton upside the, down. Yeah, Sauber upside down. Benetton behind it. And, oh, dear, the, the driver should be all right. You can see him moving inside the car. Now, let's see the action. Look, Denitz... Uh, oh, look, Damon, look the, two, the two Damon Ferraris got yeah. together. Look, yeah. two Ferraris got together. Ah, Be uh, Benetton goes across and clips the back of Denitz as he's minding his own business, going around the outside. But there's Pedro. I, th I think a lot of this is precautionary. Yeah, he's sort of putting his up. thumbs up, look. And, and I'm hoping and expecting that a lot of that is precautionary. How much grip is there? Every lap is a whole new adventure. The lap before, the lap before no, you were okay, there was enough no. grip, and suddenly you just snatch a brake or turn in a little bit too late, and you're facing the wrong way. And the it's man with the most confidence is Ralph Schumacher. Schumacher goes through, passes David Coulthard, or does he? David refuses to yield. Schumacher on the inside line. This is what happened on the previous lap, and once again, David Coulthard just nudges ahead of the determined German, and they're both having a go at Mika Hakkinen. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, pass. Ralph's very late into that corner. No, no, well no. done, he stopped. Well, I had a feeling he was going to slide straight into the side of Hakkinen. So late on the brakes. Mika Hakkinen has got the call from McLaren, a brilliant call. You're absolutely right. Mika a bit hesitant coming into the box there, but it was Ron Dennis's call. The moment he saw Frenson was going by, he brought Hakkinen in. A brilliant piece of timing. They had the tyres ready. McLaren, fantastic hit work. Very, very fast. Now Ferrari are ready for any other. And that looks like another set of slicks to me, James. It is a set of slicks, absolutely extraordinary. When Salo came in a moment ago, they had both slicks and drives ready for it. Right, They're not ready on the left rear. There's no tyre. I've never oh. seen anything like it. Oh, I thought we had one when the race started, he's saying. Well, this is ludicrous. This is now blown it. going to have a committee meeting about it. Stick it on and send him out. Well, this has blown it for Irvine, blown it for Ferrari. I don't know what's happened, but there was a major mal-misorganisation problem there. Frenson! Frenson and Fissy Keller has exited the pit lane. Frenson stops. He's lost the prop. On turn three, that's his race run, and Eddie Irvine, Eddie Jordan is gutted. Look, you can see it's raining cats and dogs again. There's Salo going off. That's a replay. And uh, it's raining much heavier than it did before, but still only on certain parts of the racetrack. We see the spray on the TV. I look out of the window, and the track is bone dry. So, Will, what's the right decision now? Do you come in for wet? But for sure, the track is now wetter than it was before. So this world championship position is absolutely riveting with Heinz Harold Frentzen third in the championship out of the race. Oh and no, Coulthard off the road. David Coulthard has gone off. Wow, my God, this is unbelievable. Remember, I said, watch Ralph Schumacher. Well, Ralphie is making my forecast come true as off the circuit plunges Coulthard. Turn four, he just snatched the brake on the way in, ran wide and just couldn't prevent a look. He stalled the engine. If the engine was running, he might be able to reverse out of there, but the engine has already gone. And that is David Coulthard's World Championship chance gone in a heartbeat with one error. There he is. He stalled it, it too. He's out of the race. He's out of the race. Schumacher leads. Giancarlo Fisichella retires the Benetton. We don't know what happened to him. I think you find he's gone off somewhere. So, well, he's obviously gone off somewhere, but I think you find he's gone off by himself. It doesn't look like a technical problem. Is. He's too far away. He's going to maybe gets on the throttle too early or whatever. He's going to go off the road backwards, and I think the engine has already stalled. We will now never know whether that car needed to come in for fuel or not. But meantime, here's the man. Here is Ralph Schumacher with Jarno Trulli now in second position. Johnny Herbert is second, I'm sorry. And
and off goes Schumacher. He, I can't I think keep he'll up recover from there, but I'm a bit concerned as to why the left front is up in the air. He's got a puncture. I think he's got a puncture, right rear puncture. The left front was up in the air. Right rear. Yeah, he's got a right rear puncture. It's clear to see now. And uh, so Ralph has got, to, I don't know which corner it was, how far he's got to get back to the pits. It looks quite a long way from home. Are we going to see a Stewart victory in its third and last year of Grand Prix racing before it becomes a Jaguar? It would be magnificent if we did. Remember, Johnny is that Johnny taking the lead now, look? I think yes. Yes, Johnny takes the lead of the Grand Prix. This is Badawa out of the race. Mark Genet moves up a place into sixth position in the other Minardi. Luca Badawa loses a potential world point. And now the very fashionable Doing a tears. Yep. Luca Badawa knowing what has happened to him. I think Irvine oh, is, sorry, seven you're point, right. is 7.3. Oh. There's the Ferrari over the chicane. Hakkinen takes the place. Hakkinen takes what will be sixth place as they go over the line. Uh, well, I'm looking down on from a great high, but yes, I was right. Hakkinen takes that position. Irvine went scampering across the chicane, outbraked himself and moves into a world championship point. And here is Johnny Herbert in the Stewart. Johnny Herbert in the Stewart turns into corner 13 and takes the chicken flag to win. And there is Jackie Stewart. Well, our oh, words fail me. Now is Barry Keller going to take that second place? Don't I don't listen. think so. But first and third would do very nicely indeed for Stewart. What a fantastic, what an amazing development. Barrichello is going to finish third. So, Stewart finished first and third. Johnny Herbert wins the race. Oh, what a very, very happy man. And it's champagne time, and it's never been better deserved, and Jackie Stewart is going to be saturated in the stuff. And don't ruin those lovely trousers, boys. <laughs>